the question is kanti beats padmani kilometer race by 50 seconds and reka by 450 meters padma and reka are in a kilometer race padma wins by 40 seconds how much time does reka take to run a kilometer distance how much time does reka take to run a kilometer distance so this is a quantitative aptitude question if you want me to call it like that or more into logical reasoning question Again, I can't say this is a speed, time, distance. So, you'll have to understand it logically and do the question properly. So, here, what it says is, Kanti is beating Padma by, Padma in a kilometer race by 50 seconds means, Kanti is beating Padma by, Kanti is beating Padma by time. And Padma, so this is a kilometer distance. This is a kilometer distance. All the three will start from here. All the three will start from here. This is the finishing line. All the three will start from here. This is the finishing line. So, Kanti will reach here, after that Padma will take 50 more seconds to reach here, that is Kanti is beating Padma by time means Padma will take that much more time to reach here, that much more time to reach here and Kanti is beating Rekha by 450 meters, so, Kanti is beating Rekha by distance, Kanti is beating Rekha by distance, when someone beats Rekha by, by distance, so when Kanti is here, Rekha will be somewhere here, this distance will be 450 meters, when Kanti is here, Rekha will be somewhere here, this distance will be 450 meters. You will not understand it that way. Now, Kanti is beating both Padma and Rekha. Kanti is beating both Padma and Rekha. Kanti is definitely first. Kanti is definitely first. So, let Kanti take x seconds to reach here. Let Kanti take x seconds to reach here. This is the starting point. Quincy line is this. Kanti will take x seconds to reach here. Kanti takes x seconds to reach here. Now, for the same distance, Padma, because Kanti is beating her by 50 seconds, Padma will take 50 seconds more, express 50 seconds. Padma will take 50 seconds more. And Kanti is beating Rekha by 450 meters. When Kanti is here, Rekha will be somewhere here. When Kanti is here, Rekha will be somewhere here. And the distance will be 450 meters. Rekha will be somewhere, the distance will be 450 meters. Or when the time is X, Rekha is here. When the time is X, Rekha is here. They started together here. Kanti has taken X seconds each year. When the time was X, Rekha is here. Now the next statement says Padma in a kilometer race will beat Rekha by 450 seconds, 40 seconds. Will beat Rekha by 40 seconds. See, this is a kilometer distance. Around, you don't have to make her run again. They don't have to make them run again. So what happens is Padma is taking express 50 minutes. She is beating Rekha by 40 seconds. Rekha will take 40 seconds more. That is 50 plus 40 seconds. Rekha will take 50 plus 40 seconds. Now, when the time is X, Rekha is here. She has got this 450 meters more to go. When the time is X, Rekha is here. She has got this 40 meters more to go. For that 450 meters, she is taking this 90 seconds extra. For that 450, she is taking 90 seconds extra. So, the question is, how long will Rekha take to complete a kilometer? So, kilometer is 1000 meters. So, 450 for 90 means your chain rules are applicable. For 90, how, for 1000 how much? It will be 90 divided by 450 into 1000 will be equal to 200 seconds. The answer is 200 seconds. Rekha will take 200 seconds to complete a kilometer distance. Rekha will take 200 seconds to complete a kilometer distance. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then.